Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss Temper Embrittlement Description of Damage Temper embrittlement is the reduction in toughness due to a metallurgical change that can occur in some low alloy steels, 2, 1 fourth chromium, 1 molybdenum, as a result of long term exposure in the temperature range of about 343 degrees Celsius to 577 degrees Celsius. As the figure illustrates, for instance, Many alloy steels have two temperature intervals of temper embrittlement. Irreversible temper brittleness may appear within the interval of 250 to 400 degrees Celsius and reversible temper brittleness within 450 degrees Celsius to 650 degrees Celsius. As the figure illustrates, this change causes an upward shift in the ductile to brittle transition temperature as measured by Charpy impact testing. Although the loss of toughness is not evident at operating temperature, equipment that is temper embrittled may be susceptible to brittle fracture during startup and shutdown. Affected materials Primarily 2 1 fourth chromium, 1 molybdenum low alloy steel, 3 chromium 1 molybdenum, to a lesser extent, and the high strength low alloy steel, chromium molybdenum vanadium, rotor steels. Older generation 2 1 fourth chromium 1 molybdenum materials manufactured prior to 1972 may be particularly susceptible. Some high strength low alloy steels are also susceptible. The carbon, molybdenum, 1 chromium, 1 half molybdenum, and 1 1 fourth chromium, 1 half molybdenum, Alloy steels are not as affected by temper embrittlement. However, other high temperature damage mechanisms promote metallurgical changes that can alter the toughness or high temperature ductility of these materials. Weld materials are generally more affected than today's low impurity base materials. Critical factors Alloy steel composition, thermal history, metal temperature, and exposure time are critical factors. Susceptibility to temper embrittlement is largely determined by the presence of the alloying elements. Manganese and silicon and the tramp elements phosphorus, tin, antimony, and arsenic. The strength level and heat treatment, fabrication history can also have an effect. Temper embrittlement of 2 1 fourth chromium, 1 molybdenum, steels develops more quickly at 900 degrees Fahrenheit than in the 800 degrees Fahrenheit to 850 degrees Fahrenheit range, but the damage is more severe after long-term exposure at 850 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note that some embrittlement can occur during fabrication heat treatments, but most of the damage occurs over many years of service in the embrittling temperature range. Affected units or equipment 
Tamper embrittlement occurs in a variety of process units after long-term exposure to temperatures above 650 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be noted that, there have been very few industry failures, related directly to tamper embrittlement. Equipment susceptible to tamper embrittlement is most often found in hydro processing units, particularly reactors, hot feed effluent exchanger components, and hot HP separators. Other units with the potential for tamper embrittlement include catalytic reforming units, reactors and exchangers, FCC units, reactors, coker units, and visbreaking units. Please note that the welds in potentially susceptible equipment are often more susceptible than the base metal. Appearance or morphology of damage Tamper embrittlement is a metallurgical change that is not readily apparent and can be confirmed through impact testing. Please note that damage due to temper embrittlement may result in catastrophic brittle fracture. Scanning electron microscope fractographs of severely temper embrittled material show primarily intergranular cracking due to impurity segregation at grain boundaries as illustrated in figure. Prevention mitigation For existing materials To minimize the possibility of brittle fracture during startup and shutdown A pressurization sequence to limit system pressure to about 25% of The maximum design pressure for temperatures below A minimum pressurization temperature 350 degrees Fahrenheit for older steel and 125 degree F or lower for newer steels. If weld repairs are required, dam brittle treatment by heating at 1150 degrees Fahrenheit for two hours per inch of thickness and rapidly cooling to room temperature as illustrated in figure. For new materials. The best way to minimize the likelihood and extent of temper embrittlement is to limit the acceptance levels of acceptance level of manganese, silicon, phosphorus, tin, antimony, and arsenic in the base metal and welding consumables. In addition, strength levels and post-weld heat treatment procedures should be specified and carefully. A common way to minimize temper embrittlement is to limit the J factor for base metal and the X factor for weld metal, based on material composition as follows below J and X factors equations. Typical J and X factors used for 2 1 4th chromium steel are a maximum of 115, respectively. Studies have also shown that limiting the phosphorus and tin to less than 0.01% is sufficient to minimize tamper embrittlement because silicon and manganese control the rate of embrittlement. Inspection and monitoring Inspection is not normally used to detect tamper embrittlement, but awareness of susceptible equipment can help prevent future damage. A common method of monitoring is to install blocks of original heats of the alloy steel material inside the reactor. 
The test blocks should be located near the top and bottom of the reactor to make sure that the test material is exposed to both inlet and outlet conditions. Samples are periodically removed from these blocks for impact testing to monitor establish the ductile brittle transition temperature. Process conditions should be monitored to ensure that a proper pressurization sequence is followed to help prevent brittle fracture due to temper embrittlement. Related mechanisms to temper embrittlement is Brittle fracture The summary of temper embrittlement Description Reduction in toughness Temperature range 650 degrees Fahrenheit to 1070 degrees Fahrenheit Affected metallurgy Primarily, 2 one -fourth chromium, 1 molybdenum, low alloy steel, 3 chromium 1 molybdenum, to a lesser extent, and some high strength low alloy steel. Prevention For existing materials, a pressurization sequence to limit system pressure to 25% of maximum design pressure for temperature, below a minimum pressurization temperature, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for older steel and 150 degrees Fahrenheit for newer steels. If weld repairs are required by heating at 1150 degrees Fahrenheit. For new materials. Acceptance level of manganese, silicon, phosphorus, tin, antimony, arsenic. In addition, post-weld heat treatment. Inspection methods. Impact testing. Practice time. Question number one. Chromium molybdenum alloys found reduction in toughness on long-term exposure to 650 degrees Fahrenheit to 1070 degrees Fahrenheit. What damage mechanism you suspect? Answer is A. Question number two. Which is the most susceptible material to temper embrittlement? Answer is B. Question number three. Temper embrittlement is a metallurgical change that is. Answer is D. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.